Hello everyone. I hope you've been enjoying the poems of Andrew Barton Patterson, or Banjo Patterson, as he's better known. Today I've got a beautiful illustrated version of another one of his poems called A Bush Christening. For those of you that don't know, a christening is where someone is brought formally into the church and it's usually done with water and it's usually done, holy water, and it's usually done when someone's born. But in this story, because the family lived in such a remote place, the young boy was 10 and still hadn't been christened. These, this family also had a strong belief that if you died and you weren't christened, then you couldn't go to heaven. So it was really important to them. The young boy, though, thinks it's something completely different. Here's a place where they live. On the outer Baku, where the church is a few and men of religion are scanty, on a road never crossed, except by folk that are lost, one Michael McGee had a shanty. Now, this Mike was the dad of a 10 year old lad, plump, healthy and stoutly conditioned. He was strong as the best, but poor Mike had no rest, for the youngster had never been christened. Looks like a good life though, doesn't it? And his wife used to cry, if the darling should die, Saint Peter would not recognise him. But by luck, he survived till a preacher arrived. Who agreed straight away to baptize him. Now the artful young rogue, while they held their collogue, with his ear to the keyhole was listening, and he muttered in fright while his features turned white. What the devil and all is this christening? He was none of your dolts. He had seen them brand colts. And it seemed to his small misunderstanding, if the man in the frock made him one of the flock, it must mean something very like branding. So away with the rush, he set off for the bush, while the tears in his eyelids, they glistened. Tis outrageous, says he, to brand youngsters like me. I'll be dashed if I'll stop to be christened. Like a young native dog, he ran into a log and his father with language uncivil, never heeding the priest, cried aloud in his haste, Come out and be christened, you devil! But he lay there as snug as a bug in a rug, and his parents in vain might reprove him. Till his reverence spoke, he was fond of a joke. I've a notion, he says, that'll move him. Poke a stick up the log, give the spalpeen a prog, poke him easy, don't hurt him or maim him, tis not long that he'll stand, I've the water at hand. And as he rushes out this end, I'll name him. Here he comes, and for shame you've forgotten the name. Is it Patsy or Michael or Dennis? Here the youngster ran out and the priest gave a shout. Take your chance, anyhow, with McGuinness. As the howling young cub ran away to the scrub where he knew that pursuit would be risky, 
The priest as he fled flung a flask at his head. That was labelled McGuinness's Whiskey. Bang. And McGuinness McGee has been made a JP. And the one thing he hates more than sin is to be asked by the folk who have heard of the joke how he came to be christened McGuinness. Ha, ha, ha.